for Education Matters, a weekly look at the real people and real stories in education across North Carolina. Welcome to another episode of Education Matters presented by the Public School Forum of North Carolina. I'm your host, Keith Poston. As you know, each episode we focus on a central topic. This week it's how public schools are funded in North Carolina. A new report is out of the General Assembly proposing big changes. We'll learn more about that on today's show. Now, like every week before we tackle the main topic, we open with our segment we call Headlines, a quick scan of education headlines across North Carolina and the U.S. Some controversy swirling around a charter school, Kestrel Heights in Durham, may lead to criminal investigation and charges out of the DA's office. Kestrel Heights uh, has uh, been has reported that more than 50 students who graduated in the last three years did not meet the state's graduation requirements. Now caught in the middle of all this between the State Board of Education, the Charter School Advisory Board, and the DA are these students who are now many of them in college or in the military and actually didn't meet the admission requirements for where they are. So we're going to find out a little bit more about that over the next few weeks. The other big news that came out in the last week was the final, finally ending of the governor's race. Uh, nearly a month after the election, uh, Democrat Roy Cooper defeated incumbent Republican Governor Pat McCrory. Now this picture on the screen was taken the night after Governor McCrory conceded the election. Now we don't have a picture of uh, Governor-elect Cooper after the short session, the special session uh, convened yesterday where they started taking away a lot of his powers and appointments before he even takes office on January 1st. Now Governor-elect Cooper and most incumbent members of the legislature ran on promises to invest in teachers and education. We'll have to see if there will be ways for them to work together on behalf of North Carolina students. Now, remember, you can always visit the Public School Forum's website at ncforum.org, click Education Matters, and read more about each of the headlines, as well as other topics we cover each week. <music> 